Hello everyone, and welcome back to more of Alundra. Hey, there's, there's Giles. And there is the Soul Leech, again. Because we didn't kill him last time. Pretty much exactly the same as last time, but with a few slight differences, and that's this time he will take three bombs to shut his mouth. However, use of the earth magic, uh, now that we can use it twice, will take off about half of his health. Yeah, that's right, half of his health. That's uh that's quite a lot. That'll make this fight a lot easier. Now it's very important to note, while well, last time it didn't really matter if Fine got eaten, it would just take off one little point of HP, if Giles gets eaten, you're dead. Now if you have a Wonder Essence in your inventory, then you will be resurrected, as will Giles, and you'll be given a second chance, however, it is still completely going to drain all of your HP. Yay, I got the money. That is my biggest problem with this boss fight, I think. These stupid blobs drop money right by his mouth, and I want to try to get it, but then the bombs don't blow up fast enough, and then I end up just jumping right into his mouth. Like, I see that. I see that money right there. Yeah, I got it. In your face, Soul Leech. Oh god. Now that we've used the earth magic on him twice, or we could also have used f the uh, fire magic that we got. Water magic, however, will be completely ineffective against this guy. But now that we've done that, about half of his HP has been taken off, so that will make this fight quite a lot more bearable. It's all your fault, Giles. my own bomb that time. That was my fault that time, I must admit. Again, as I said before, this fight is pretty much exactly the same as last time. Nothing new here, just blowing it up at this time. We have killed him. He is blowing up. He is gone. have defeated the Soul Leech. I love how Alundra remains in that epic little freeze frame pose while Giles just walks around as if everything is calm and casual. Hopeless my ass. We saved Giles! Yay! Kind of, uh, well, whatever. We proved Maya wrong, and that's what matters, I think. In the end, it's all about proving others wrong and proving yourself right. I think that's the moral of this story. So let's go! We gotta go tell the people who are praying for Giles' survival that he's okay now. That their prayers did nothing, and that I, Alundra, did everything. Because that's what happened. That is exactly what happened. Their prayers didn't save him, I did. I jumped into his dreams, and I killed the Soul Leech. And that's what happened! That is why Giles is now saved. It has nothing to do with, with praying to whoever it is they're praying to. Not even really sure, to be perfectly honest. So the area where they're praying is just over here, just north of where I am right now. Wait, no, I don't need to use that, it's right down here. And this giant crack in the wall, kind of an odd place to pray, but you know, whatever. Odd place to build an altar.
I am an inspiration. And I am a hero. I'm Alundra. A wonderful, amazing person, deservant of praise. You should be- this altar should be to me, I think. This should be my altar, I think. That would be a good plan. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jess! Oh, really? Seems like any time you tell me not to go places, that's going to be the first place that I go. You should realize that by now, Jess. Yay! Secret area! Not really. Not really secret. There are more of these mudmen things, and as we head up here, we see a bunch of thorns, which, when we walk into them, hurt us because they're spiky and, and things like that. So we need a way to... Get them out of our way. I'm gonna knock him on the spike so he's out of my way. And hey look, we can pick up fire! It's pretty new. Throwing fire onto the thorn bushes will burn them and now we have access to this area down here. Before I do anything, I'm gonna kinda get these guys out of my way. There we go. I need this fire. thorn bush here and kind of can be tricky with depth perception to actually throw it and land it onto the actual thorn bush. And one of these platforms, yeah, you know how these platforms work, you've seen them in video games before, the direction you're facing is the way that they move. Can be kind of tricky. Now I see some holes in the floor as I, as I climb up this ladder. And that's why there are thorns that pop out. I'm not entirely sure how to avoid them. I think you have to like just go slowly or maybe like run over them or something. I don't remember. They don't appear in the game that often. But yeah, there they are. Now this room. I see the torch up there and I definitely need that torch. So kind of doing this building a uh, staircase with a barrel thing. Alright. Now we're good to go. Or are we? Because right now, looking ahead, I can see that, uh... I can't make that jump right there. So it looks like I'm gonna need the barrels again. And to do that... I'm gonna have to throw them up here. There we go, that worked out. Gotta climb up the ladder, and... Now I need to throw them up back up there. There we go. Not too difficult of a puzzle here. I like puzzles like these. Where the, the answer isn't immediately obvious, but it's not too difficult to figure out what you need to do. And that gets us a key. Get this guy out of the way. How do you avoid these? Okay, that wasn't it. Yeah, I think it's running. I think running is what you have to do to avoid those, but... Oh well, whatever. I don't really like these platforms. Luckily they don't appear much in the game. I, I actually am not entirely sure if they ever appear again in the game, but... It doesn't really work that well, to be perfectly honest. Damn it, still got hit by that thing. Well... We can just jump right in here and definitely want to jump in here to give us full health and to give us full magic. And we can also save! So, next time on Let's Play Alundra, we continue here in this area and see what it has to hold for us. I'm Vega, I will see you guys next time.